free on the streets of Tripoli. Less than 24 hours after he was allegedly captured, Saif al-Islam Muammar Gaddafi's heir apparent made a surprise appearance. Surrounded by supporters, his presence was a boost to the morale of pro-Gaddafi forces. They've been making what many thought was their final stand, but he's keen to show the government is still in control. Speaking with the press, he poured scorn on his enemies. First of all, I'm here to refute all the rumors and reports. NATO used its most sophisticated technology to block all our communications. They sent text messages to the Libyan people. They interrupted our TV broadcasts. They waged an electronic media war against us to scare our people. They sent gangs and armed groups to Tripoli by sea and civilian vehicles to create chaos. You have seen how the Libyan people rose up yesterday and today and broke the back of the rebels and the rats and the gangs. I'm going on a tour of Tripoli now and we'll visit all the hotspots. You will see, everything is normal. Saif al-Islam rallying armed supporters in the Libyan capital. This isn't something the opposition or their NATO allies wanted to see. And it seems it's not something they were expecting. The International Criminal Court was apparently already negotiating his transfer to The Hague to face charges of crimes against humanity. And in Benghazi, the opposition has been preparing for a post-Gaddafi Libya. And now I say with all transparency that the era of Gaddafi is over. While it looks like the opposition fighters may have the upper hand, this defiant gesture by Saif al-Islam shows the conflict could still be full of surprises. When asked what he thought about his pending transfer to The Hague, damn the commission, he says. A parting shot from the defiant son. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera.